Hello and welcome to Hydro Collectibles where we let our geek flag fly. My name's Luke and I'm your host and today we are opening a very special AOK -OK all the way from the other side of the pond. That's right, this has come all the way from that special place, the US of A. Intrigued? Stay tuned to the video to find out more. So obviously when this thing arrived, I had to get it open as soon as possible. So I set up the camera to do a quick recording of the unboxing itself and I'm gonna play that for you guys now and then I'll join you right back here afterwards in order to go through and discuss the creator. The creator of course being Mark, AKA Frog Boy, I believe it's called. It's F-R-A-W-G-B-O-Y, Frog Boy. So uh, yeah. I'll see you on the other side. Okay, so here is the biggest AOK -okay I have ever received. This thing is huge and I cannot wait to open it up for you guys. Uh, this has come all the way from across the pond. That's right, this has traveled all the way from the United States to the UK, right to my front door, and here it is. I am so excited to open this and show you guys what is inside. So uh, yeah, got my little knife here, I'm just gonna score around the top and let's get this thing open. Beautiful green bubble wrap. Oh my gosh, I love it. Okay, so with that, let's get a closer look at this amazing piece of artwork. Beginning right here with the title, The Amazing Spider-Man, issue 122. And uh, yeah, the death of Gwen Stacy. Such an important part of comic book history. You know, this basically brought an end to the Silver Age as we know it and gave us the Bronze Age. The Bronze Age being that dark time you know that moment of just horror and darkness and yeah the death of Gwen Stacy must have been a huge shock to so many fans as they read this for the first time I know it was a shock for me reading it when I was a young kid and I started reading the books from the beginning to the end because let's face it I didn't know who Gwen Stacy was at first I grew up with the animated show and it was all about Mary Jane. Gwen Stacy just wasn't even a thing. So reading the comics from scratch, I absolutely fell in love with Gwen Stacy. I thought she was crazy cool as a character. She was intelligent. She was beautiful. And yeah, really nice fit for Peter Parker. And then, of course, this event happened and she was taken away from us. And yeah, I've always been Team Gwen you know as much as i love mj mj is super cool don't get me wrong i even love felicia hardy as the black cat she is super hot but yeah i am team gwen all the way gwen stacy and uh yeah even in the movies you know i think emma stone personal favorite of mine done an amazing job in her portrayal of that i'm not too keen on other parts of the movie but her portrayal as Gwen Stacy is definitely one that I would like to see brought back, especially now that we have the whole um, Spider-Verse theory and we can bring back these characters. Wouldn't it be great to see Emma Stone portray Spider-Gwen? Not too sure if it will happen, but yeah, I would be all for it if they decided to do so. 
So yeah, I mean, going back to this artwork, it is crazy good. Like I say, I did not think that you could get this level of detail out of this type of paint. But clearly I was wrong. You know, this is a true masterpiece. Check out all that detail on the Green Goblin. All that scale and muscle definition all worked into the paint there. It's just so cool. So, so cool. I absolutely love it. And of course we have the classic glider, you know, the Green Goblin when he first appeared in issue 14 had this weird like witch's broomstick which uh, didn't look too great but here we have the awesome glider, the iconic look. And as I say this is such an important comic and such a great piece to have mounted up on my wall. So uh, yeah, absolutely fantastic. I am very happy with this. So uh, yeah. With that in mind, let's venture back to the media room and talk a little bit more about the artist. What an A-OK, -okay, am I right? I, I'm speechless. Like, how kind is Mark to do this for me? I, words cannot even begin to express my gratitude for him creating this amazing piece for me to display here, either in this room or in my new studio that I'm building out in the garage. I am so, so thankful for Mark for doing this. In fact, actually, let's get it in the shot, shall we? That's better. So, as I say, what an amazing AOK -okay to receive. I am so, so grateful for Mark doing this for me. Words cannot even express, you know, it, it was so nice for him to reach out, to say how much he loves the channel, to say that he wanted to do this for me. Like, I just, thank you. Thank you, that's, that's all I can say. Thank you so, so much for your kindness. And yeah, if there's anything that I can help you with, if there's a book that you need this side of the pond, I am happy to, to help you out. You know, you are a true friend, despite being all those many miles away. So thank you is all I can say. So um, yeah, a little bit of backstory behind Mark. So I first met Mark during a live stream of one of the channels that I follow, that channel being Reggie Collects, link in the bio. And uh, yeah, Reggie was uh, basically showing off an AOK -okay that he was lucky enough to receive from Mark. And if you actually go to Reggie's channel, you can always see that AOK -okay right there in the background. He had this awesome Galactus piece made, which just looks absolutely phenomenal. You know, this thing even glows in the dark. It's so cool. And so, uh, yeah, wanting to see more, wanting to find out more about this this artist. And I know, I know, Mark, you don't consider yourself an artist. You consider yourself a craftsman. You say that the true artists are those who created the artwork in the original, you know, the ones that made that original piece. However, come on, mate, this, this is art, right? Craftsman, artist, whatever you want to call yourself, that is fine. But this is amazing. And I... I hope that this video helps even just a little bit help you get that recognition out there, especially this side of the pond, because guys, I'll tell you, the postage wasn't even that much. You know, Mark, let me know that the postage cost wasn't too extreme. And so if there is anything that you would like him to draw, you should head over to his website. I'll put the link in the bio. I might even get it up here across the screen, but go to his website and check it out because yeah, this is definitely worth every penny that you could spend. I know, I know this was an A-OK -okay for me and it's easy for me to say that, but seeing this thing up close in detail, I would pay happily for this. This is so cool. I might even save up and hopefully get another one to go alongside it in my garage. We'll have to, <laughs> we'll have to see. I mean, obviously the world is a bit, bit of a shambles right now, but yes, anyway, going back. So I met him through Reggie's channel and we started talking. You know, I said how amazing that piece was. And sure enough, a few months later, there was a competition. And I believe that I came like second or third. And Mark just basically called out to me and said, Luke, you deserve to win. You deserve to have one of these. I love your channel, this, that and the other. I don't, <laughs> I don't really like the praise, but well, who am I kidding? Of course I like the praise. Um... But, but all that aside, he said that he would like to do me a piece. And so I had a choice to make, which piece I would like to do. It's worth noting here that Mark doesn't like doing duplicates. He's happy to do any comic book cover that you desire, whether it's Marvel, DC or other. However, he doesn't like to repeat the work. You know, he, he sees that as a bit of a, um, a disrespect to the artist. Like he's doing this to honour 
the artwork of the original artist and so it makes them nicer more like a one of a kind and it makes everyone's gift that little bit special do you know what i mean so yeah by all means please check him out i uh, for me it was a toss-up between this and obviously my favorite character being the lizard um and i wasn't sure which one to do you know i love that first appearance of the lizard i love that cover um, but I think the death of Gwen Stacy is so iconic and yeah, like it, it proved to be quite an easy decision in the end when I really put my mind to it and I wrote down those pros and cons. So, uh, yeah, with that, let's take a look at some of Mark's other works and you guys can see some of the amazing things that he has created for other people. So obviously I cannot show you all of Mark's creations right here. I mean, I could, but this video would go on for far too long as I went into all the intricate details of each piece. So instead, what I'd like to do is encourage you guys to not only check out his website, but also check out his Instagram. I will link that in the bio. There you can follow Mark and see the photos that he takes, see the video clips that he does. He does these nice little time lapses of as he's painting and drawing. So I'd like to encourage you guys to check that out because seeing this stuff being created, that is the true magic. That is where you see this craftsman or artist at work. So yeah, please do go and check that out. That being said, I do want to point out a couple of my favorites. So to start things off, let's talk about the one that he done for Reggie, the one where I first heard who Mark was. This piece is incredible. I know when it comes to the Galactus trilogy, uh, we like to talk about, you know, that first appearance. And let's face it, that cover, it's not that great. You know, yeah, that's where the money is. That's the first appearance. It's the bigger book to own. But let's face it, Galactus and the Silver Surfer on the cover, that's where it's at. And Mark done a fabulous job in creating this piece because not only did he put all that detail in and paint this in that immense and crazy looking way, but that Galactus glows in the dark, that green. Mark, I don't care what you say about being an artist or a craftsman or whatever, you know, you brought something to these paintings that does not exist in the originals. And that is this glow in the dark paint. That is a stroke of genius. And that came from your mind, no one else's. So yeah, well done. Those are superb. Keeping with the glow in the dark paint, I want to go to Spider-Man issue 100. And here we have these white silhouette like characters in the background. And you guessed it, those are done in glow in the dark paint. So when you turn off the lights, Spider-Man might disappear, but all of those faces light up. It is superb, truly amazing. Next, I just wanna focus on the final piece that captured my eye. And that of course is the man thing. Man-Thing is such a cool character, you know, really is. He looks so monstrous. And I know that we have all these different connections to Swamp Thing and everything else, but Man-Thing has always been a particular favorite of mine, so much so that I've recently picked up a figurine of him. But that's for another video. This looks incredible. This cover is good on a comic, you know, but it is 10 times, 100 times better enlarged onto this canvas size. It looks incredible. And whoever is lucky enough to own that piece, fantastic. Getting Mark to do it, or whether it was something that Mark wanted to do himself and he sold it on, whoever, whatever the case, that is a fantastic piece. So uh, yeah, those are my personal favorites. Of course, there have been countless others. Um, I really do want to encourage you guys to go and check Mark out, like I say, on his website and on his Instagram. Hopefully I'm gonna get Mark on the show soon. He, he is uh, in the process at the moment of moving house. He's probably just settled in. And so uh, yeah, once he's, once he's ready and he's calm, we'll get him on a Comics with Friends and you guys can see the man in person and we can talk some comic books. So until then, I just wanna say thank you so much, Mark. Really do appreciate this piece. I cannot wait to mount it up on the wall. And yeah, until next time, I'll see you in another life. Take care.